excited to be here. I still can't properly pronounce uh, Picha Kucha, so I always say I'm going to the Pikachu thing. But um, uh, great to see so many people out, especially with the weather. You know, in Calgary, there's good weather and there's less good weather, I always say. People think I'm crazy. But uh, so let's get started. So uh, I started Calgaryism uh, about four years ago, and I just love talking about uh, the prosperity and opportunity that we have uh, in, in our city. We're so blessed. I've also started a nonprofit called the Canada Action Coalition, and uh, really what we're all about is advocating for informed conversations about our natural resources and our economy. So 13 countries in the world represent more than 90% of the planet's oil reserves. Canada is one of those countries, and I believe we're very lucky to have such an abundance of natural resource prosperity. It provides so many jobs and so much funding for a lot of our social services. There's a lot of opportunity from coast to coast. My constant question, though, that I have is, why is Canada the enemy of, on that list? Why is the oil sands or the tar sands or the Black Plague or whatever you want to call it the enemy on that list? So it really um, caused me to, 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 to want to get involved in that conversation. There's so many jobs and so much prosperity that we have uh, as a nation because of our resources. So I started a, a funny movement called the, the I Love Oil Sands movement. And uh, you know, it's thought provoking. Some people love it and some people really hate it. But uh, you know, we're out there and we're trying to have a conversation. So it's interesting though. I've, I've done this to try to start and to spark conversation. So why am I now the enemy when I'm talking about facts and I'm talking about, um, you know, let's have an informed conversation. It's not all good or all bad. It's somewhere in the middle and we gotta find a way forward. Um, you know, there's a lot of things around the world. I mean, if it wasn't for energy, none of us could have got here tonight. And there's a lot of things happening on the other side of the world uh, that makes, us, makes me feel very lucky to, to, uh, to be a Canadian. Um, so, you know, that, that's one example. But uh, I constantly ask myself, why are we the enemy? Why has Canada become this enemy? Um, energy and resources are so important to everything that everyone does every day. So looking at the facts and looking at the global picture, the oil sands is a small, small, small segment of global greenhouse gas emissions. And usually it's climate change, which is a, a real and happening thing that we have to tackle. But we have to tackle it in an informed and factual way without making our country um, this villain. So we have to really have these informed conversations. It's quite interesting. There's actually six countries and 13 oil fields in California that actually have higher greenhouse gas emissions from their oil production. They're not the enemy. Canada's the enemy, and you hear nothing said about these, these countries. So again, it's interesting. It kind of you know, led me to think, you know, what, what's going on here and, and, and what's happening? So um, we have a lot to, to really be proud of, and I think that we miss out on that. We're a, a leader in global renewable energy policies. Uh, we're a leader amongst um, our peers in a number of different initiatives we've taken for uh, you know, uh, efficiency in our vehicles and we're actually one of the second, uh, in the G20 we're the second lowest country for coal-fired power generation. There's a lot of great things that we've done as a country. We're also a leader in energy regulation. This is compared to our peers and this is also, uh, it wouldn't even be a contest if you compared it to the previous list of the other top oil reserves. So uh, sometimes these facts are, are, are missed in the conversations that happen and you know, certainly I'm, uh, I've developed a thick skin because um, there's a lot of crazy things said. But we're also a global leader in renewable energy. So Canada is actually fourth in the world by the total amount of renewable energy that we produce. And uh, we have a lot to be really proud of as a country. So I constantly ask myself, why are we this big enemy? Why is Alberta this big enemy? Alberta's done a lot of great things. We're, we were the first jurisdiction in North America with mandatory greenhouse gas emissions regulations. And uh, we're also the first province in Canada to uh, create a wind farm. And Net Canada is actually ninth in the world for wind power. So it's a pretty cool stat. We have a lot to be uh, really proud of. It's, um, it's important to note though that again, you know, the energy that brought us all here tonight that turns these lights on and allows us to be here, that energy demand is continuing to grow, almost 50% higher by 2035. Today's oil demands about 92 million barrels a day, and that's growing to well over 105 million barrels a day by 2040. So that energy and that, those resources are gonna come from somewhere. We certainly need all energy. We need wind, we need solar, we need hydro. We also are gonna need oil for a long time. And there's a huge impact on our economy from the oil sands and from our energy resources. So uh, 
possibility for almost a quarter million jobs in uh, 10 years from now and 61 billion dollars in taxes and almost 175 billion dollars to our country's GDP. That's how we're paying in a lot of ways for our schools and our hospitals and our roads. It's really important that we understand why are we the enemy? Why are people that wear an I Love Oil Sand shirt now the enemy? Because they're advocating for an informed conversation. It's not all good. It's certainly not all bad. It's somewhere in the middle and we got to find a way forward. So the big picture, global oil demand is growing. Canada is the most regulated, monitored, transparent, and socially responsible top oil reserve. A lot of really important metrics that anyone, I'm sure most people in this room would care about, you know, Canada's a leader in amongst our peers. So why have we become this vilified enemy? You can't turn the TV on or look on social media without seeing how Canada's somehow destroying the planet, which isn't factually accurate. I think that the enemy is actually misinformation. It's actually uh, people that aren't engaging in, uh, in these conversations and learning the facts. You know, to say that the tar sands is, is equivalent to industrial genocide is uh, distasteful and, and not factually accurate. They're not helping the conversation, they're actually hindering it. Um, this speaks for itself. I mean, uh, you know, it's, it's distasteful. And again, it's misinformation and fear. This is what we're seeing in the headlines. So. You know, before we, we click on things and uh, instantly share them, we've got to really challenge uh, wh what we think we know, and we've got to make sure that we're having those informed conversations. And the enemy is misinformation and not really thinking about all the facts. Um, this is a great one. You know, the, the tar sands is going to destroy the whole planet. It's spooky. But uh, we have a lot to be really proud of as a country. We are the fifth most prosperous country on Earth. Calgary is the fifth best city to live on earth five years in a row and uh, there's a lot of other really amazing metrics so we should all be proud of and continue to want to have that informed conversation thank you